Welcome back to the Armenian Museum of America. I'm Gary Lynn Sananian, the curator, and I'd like to share some other objects from my collection uh, with you. These are recent acquisitions, two paintings by Minas Abadizian. Uh, these were donated by Nishan and Mary Kutsuzian to the museum. Minas Abadizian was the most prominent Armenian painter in the 20th century. He was born in uh, Jajor in Armenia in 1928, and he was uh, killed in an auto accident. Some claim it was a murder in 1975 at age 47. But for those 47 years, he made a profound impact on Armenian art. This, these are, this is a self-portrait of Binas. Uh, this was made in 1973. Uh, the, and this is a, another painting of his. This was not signed by him, but it was authenticated on the back by his friend, Henry Agitian. And Henry is one of the leading authorities in Armenian art. In fact, this book on Minas Abadizian was written by his friend, Henry, about Minas. One of the things about Minas' style is the bold colors that he used. When painting began in Europe, and then in the 18th and 19th century, it got the idea of painting in the air, meaning you take an easel, you go out with a landscape, you're looking at the landscape, and you're painting the scene as you see it. And that's, you know, so it became natural landscapes, as you probably are familiar with. But for Minas, he would do this, and that would be the start because then he would go back to the studio and he would put the color back in it, in that he would make the, the paintings that start with a very realistic scene and he would make it very deep, very emotional, very impressionistic. And before Minas, when they were doing paintings, they were often with blue tones and purple tones. Madara Sarian set that palette, which is a very uh, subdued palette for Armenia. Minas went the other direction but very bright, bold colors. He loved reds and oranges, yellows, and he used these in his work. And so many of his paintings, his landscapes especially, are overwhelming, they are just so bright. But and that set the standard for Armenian art today. And many Armenian artists follow that motif, that kind of palette that Minas established for Armenia. And so he was a, a very prominent uh, artist. He was also a nationalist artist, and he was killed by an auto accident in 1975. And it's thought that the KGB actually was, uh, had eliminated him because he was a nationalist. Although uh, Minas has died, his art lives on. We are very fortunate, very honored to be have these pieces donated to the collection. He is a, a, a major artist. The Armenian Museum is here to share our history, our stories, our culture with the public. We thank you for joining us. We uh, thank Michelle Collegian, the president of the museum, for making this film series possible, where I do these show and tells talking about objects in the collection. That We have a wonderful exhibit in the museum. We hope you can visit us here in Watertown, Massachusetts. If not, we hope you visit us online. We also have the various kinds of talks and lectures online, concerts, and other activities. Until next time, stay safe.